In this video, we'll look at how to factor by grouping, and we use grouping usually when there are four terms. So here's the idea. We'll group the polynomial into two pairs of terms. We factor out the GCF from each pair. The parts in the parentheses should be the same. We write this first. We write the other numbers in parentheses. Then we check to see if there's a common factor in either set of the parentheses. Pay attention to your signs. So we'll factor by grouping. So here we can see we have four terms. And we'll cut it down the middle and we'll look at the first two terms together and the second two terms together. So when we look at these first two terms, we want to see do they have a common factor. So if we look, they both have nines, right? So we'll write a nine. And the letters they don't have in common, so that's all they have is that nine in common. So if I take the nine out of the first term, all that's left is an x. If I take a nine out of the second term, what's left is a z. So now let's look at this second pair of um, terms. So they both, you can see, have a b. So we'll write a b. If I take a b out of the first term, then what's left is an x. And if I take a b out of the second term, what's left is a z. Now this is like example 5 that we did a few minutes ago. They both have an x plus z. So we'll write x plus z first. And then we'll write what's left. So if an x plus z is gone from here, then I have a 9 left. And if the x plus z is gone from here, then I have a b left. So this is my final answer. So now let's look at another example. Um, again, we're going to split it up into two groups. We have 54AZ minus 9A and a minus 30BZ plus 5. Okay, so let's look at the greatest common factor. And remember that we're looking at 54 and 9. Um, we practiced a little bit ago. Let's do that one more time here. So if I have 54, I can divide that by 2, and I get 27. I can divide 27 by 3, and I get 9. And I can divide 9 by 3, and I get 3. So 54AZ would be 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times A times Z. We have 9A. So we'd have 3 times 3 would be 3 times 3 times A. So again, we look at what they have in common. They both have 3 and another 3 and an A. So 3 times 3 is 9A. So if that's out in front, what's left is 2 times 3 times Z, or 6Z, minus... And here, there's nothing left, right? We've taken it all out in front. Now, we have to still have something there. So remember, this could also be times 1, and that's what we put here. And that's so that if we distributed 9a times 6z, I would get 54az. And then 9a times 1 gives us 9a. That 1 has to hold that spot for us. So now let's go back and let's look at the second two. We have a 30BZ, so we'll do the 30, so that's 3 times 10, and the 10 breaks down to 2 times 5. So 30BZ would be 2 times 3 times 5 times B times Z. And then we have a 5B, which just is 5 times B. So if we look at what they have in common, they both have 5s and they both have b's. So we'd write 5b, parenthesis. If the 5b is out in front, then what's left is 2 times 3 times z, or 6z, and then a 5. These are both out in front, right? So remember, there's a 1 there to hold this spot. Now let's stop for a second and look at our signs, because we have to be very careful about our signs. Here we had a minus between them, which is why we wrote this minus here. 
Here we have a plus between them, but we don't want a plus here because we want this parenthesis to match this parenthesis. So I really want to have a minus here. Also remember that there is a minus out in front here, but here I have a plus. So these signs in the parentheses are backwards from the signs that were in the problem. So to fix that, I have to put a minus here in between the two instead of a plus. This minus changes both the signs that are in the parentheses after it. So we would have like negative 5b times 6z would give us negative 30z and negative 5b times a negative 1 would give us a positive 5b. Once we get that sign switched by using that negative out in front, then we can write our answer. So now we the parentheses match, so we write them out in front, 6z minus 1, and then we take 9a minus 5b, the pieces that were left here. And there's no common factors in, in this set of parentheses or in this set of parentheses, so we know we're finished. Let's look at one more. So again, we're going to look at the first two and the second two. So we look at 3x to the third, and that's 3 times x times x times x. 6x squared is 2 times 3 times x times x. So they both have a 3 and they both have two x's. So our greatest common factor for that those first two terms is 3x squared. So what's left from the first piece is an x. This had a minus, so we'll use a minus. What's left from the second piece is a 2. So now we're ready to look at the next two numbers. We have a 9x, which is 3 times 3 times x. And we have an 18. Now 18 is 2 times 9, so we can write in the 2, but 9 is really 3 times 3. So these have in common two 3's, and 3 times 3 is 9, so we'll put a 9 here, and put the parentheses after it. If that's gone from the first term, I have an x left, and if this is gone from the second term, I have a 2 left. Now there was a minus in between those two, and that's what I want, because that's what matches this one. So if I'm keeping that the same, then I put a plus in front of here. So now I have an x minus 2 in both places. I write that first. I have a 3x squared plus 9 in the second two. Now let's look at this a second. Here there's no common factor in that term, but over here, this has a 3, and 9 is really 3 times 3, so those share a 3. So, I can really pull out another 3 from here. So that would leave an x squared, and if I take a 3 out from the 9, that leaves a 3. So we're really saying 3x squared is 3 times x times x, and 9 is 3 times 3. They both have a 3 in common. And that leaves an x squared for the first piece and a 3 for the second piece. Now we don't normally like to leave that number in the middle like that. So we usually take that number and we write it out in front. So we have 3 times x minus 2 times x squared plus 3. I'm just moving this. And this is our final answer.